There are thousands and thousands of lakes in this province, but only 32 are left in the search for BC's best lake, where we've gotten thousands and thousands of votes. And the most serene of the 32 left is probably the one I'm standing in front of, Cameron. Now, ordinarily, there would be plenty of boats on the water at this time of year on this beautiful lake next to Port Alberni. But for one reason, it's not right now. That's a wildfire that happened a few weeks ago up on those bluffs. Now, you can see there's no flames anymore, but there was a threat in terms of landslides that could happen as a result. So the road is only open for two hours a day to single alternating traffic, meaning that right now this little slice of seven heaven is completely serene. But in terms of the voting, it is losing at the moment to Comox Lake, just a few hours north, a sign anything can happen in this competition. Two other matchups are neck and neck at this point where still anything can happen, both on the mainland, one close to Vancouver, where Coltis Lake, the number one seed in the southwest, is currently losing ever so narrowly to Bunsen Lake, which has gotten the support of BC Hydro, of all organizations. Whereas in the Kootenays, Christina Lake is famed for its water, but it too is very close right now with Kootenay Lake, maybe a sign of name recognition for the rest of the province. At the end of the day, there will just be 16 lakes left in this competition. It's still anyone's guess as to which will be crowned the best. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Cameron Lake.